friend, Carrie, and I'm going to make a tutorial today about how to use your arms to make it more like dancing when you're hooping. So we all have those moments where we have what we call the T-Rex arms. Here's my T-Rex over here. Um, and the, the idea is that we tend to hold our hands out of the way of the hoop. And we're busy thinking about all the things that we can do with the hoop and we forget about our arms. So what I'm going to do is to show you some ways to move your arms, some examples of things that you can do, and then you can add it in whatever way that you want. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate just a little bit. So I'm going to hoop on my waist and I'm going to bring my arms in and out. I can go up and down. I can go around and just keep them moving. Okay, then the other thing is off body. Maybe I'm just doing an isolation. Keep the arms moving. I can do different ways. And I'll just try it with the other arm too, so you can see. Yeah, so there's just a few examples. So I'm gonna put the hoop down for a minute now. And I'm just going to talk about just the general idea of how to use your arms. So the way I think about it, and the way I teach it in ballroom dancing too, is that my body is going to send a signal to my arm and to my hand to move. So if my body was sending the signal, the first part of my arm that would get the signal is shoulder, coming from the body to my shoulder, running down my arm to the elbow, to the wrist, and then last, the hands and fingers. So I'm just gonna do a demonstration, I'll just do it with one arm first. Uh, and I, you can notice that I bring my arm in close to the body first, so shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist, wrist, hand, and fingers. And then in reverse, or actually bringing, retracting the arm back in, I would do the exact same thing, shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist, wrist, hand, and fingers, last. So I'm gonna send my arm out and retract it back in. And the more I can use the body to do that, the more natural it looks. So I'll go ahead and do it with the other arm. And you're welcome to follow along with me and just pretend like I'm your mirror image. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and do the opposite arm and bring it in. So I think about it in three parts. Shoulder to elbow, part one. Elbow to wrist, part two. Wrist, hand, and fingers, part three. So that's just bringing it in and out. I can do both arms at the same time as I practice. And I just kind of let the hands cross and bring them back out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bring the arm all the way up and then bring it down, bring the elbow across, bring the back of the hand, by the face, and then I'm gonna obviously keep it high enough so I don't hit the hoop, and back out. Or if I'm doing hand hooping, I don't have to worry about that, obviously. So I'm gonna go out, all the way up, down, and back out to the side. I can also reverse that and go up, and this is kind of the one example. You still see shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist, then the hand goes up, and then if I come back down, Again, you can see the three parts of the arm. So that's just a quick little tutorial on keeping the arms moving and the three parts of the arm. So I'll go ahead and do just a little bit more with the hoop again. So I'm gonna keep the arms moving. See if you can recognize that, seeing the arms moving and the three parts. And I'll go ahead and take it off the body. And taking it out, up, and down. And I can do, and you can add it into all kinds of things as you do. Just whatever you like, keeping that idea of the arm continuing to move. Okay, so I hope you like that. 
and hope it gives you a few ideas to add to get into your own dance groove into your hooping. Thanks a lot.